Hey Walther fans, Robin Taylor from Taylor Freelance here to show you the new Magwell for the Walther PDP. Most of you have seen our videos in the past that show the various backstraps we make, both for the PDP slash PPQ, PDP compact slash PPQ and for the new full-size gun. Just to reprise that for, for a moment, the main thing that that does is change the balance and brings the balance of the gun lower in your hand so that you can essentially float it like that in ways that you just can't do uh, with a stock gun. So, while the brass one is really cool, and it gives you, I think it's 3.8 ounces of weight, we also make an aluminum one. So if you're carrying this on duty, or use this as a, as a concealed carry gun, you don't have to pack, you can get some of the weight, but not all of the weight, if that's what you want, and you get the cool blue colors. Uh, all of the back straps that we have, and have a set screw set in the back of them, which probably didn't make a lot of sense to you guys that bought them, bought the back straps beforehand. But the, the set screw is what's going to retain the magwell. This system that we use, we call it the overlock system, is something we use on a Canik normally, and we've adapted it to the to the Walther because it allows us to do this really quick and easy, assuming I can find the set screw, which I'm having trouble with that today for some reason. Once you get this, once you get the set screw going, you're backing it out. Well, note that most magwells, when you tighten them down, you're, you're used to turning the magwell in, to turning the screw in to tighten the magwell. In my case, you're turning the screw out so that the screw now pulls back and raises up on the, on the magwell to give you the tension that you need to hold everything in place. Once you get it tight, it locks up solidly, and you're in business. So the magwell you know, is, you know what magwells are about. We've changed this one slightly from our past iterations of this magwell. You'll notice this surface isn't straight. It's actually angled a bit to give you a little bit more ability to grab the base pad with your fingers and rip it out, um, as opposed to what a square magwell would, you know, if it were truly flat across this surface, you'd be missing another eighth inch or so of, of grip area in order to rip and strip the magwell in, in need. That's what the plus zero base pad made it up in there. It's actually a little bit below flush, which is the other reason we, we made this little angle cut. So the IDPA guys in particular can really get some positive seating on the magwell and uh, be able to change rapidly from IDPA mode, shall we say, or USPSA mode in this case, to IDPA mode with a couple turns of a screw. So here I am, I've got the back strap and the magwell on the gun Total weight's around three something ounces. And with a couple turns of a screw, now I'm in USPSA carry optics mode because I don't have the magwell on. I don't have the, the cross pin through this because I don't need it when using this system. But it's just that easy. Push out the pin, change out to the brass back, back strap, now I'm shooting USPSA carry optics with, a, with an optimized gun. It's just slick and easy. If I want to go all the way up and shoot three gun or limited division with it, I can bring in the brass magwell. Come on, baby. And collectively, now you've picked up, I think it's, I have to think about my numbers here for a minute. Just over five ounces of total weight. I don't know why I'm having so much difficulty finding that set screw today. There it goes. Crankety, crankety, crank. Done. Full on USPSA Magwell in about eight seconds. So there you go. Walther PPQ Magwell. Brass, brass, gives you all the weight you need. You can switch it out to aluminum and run a lighter weight version, get, get the colors you want. It's really everything you want. So there it is. Walter PDP Magwell, TaylorFreelance.com.